hot friends good morning there's my hubby okay so it's sunday morning i am on my way to open house over in seattle and hubby or miss mary is always like helping me with open houses because i don't want to i don't want to do open houses by myself and so um i always schedule it to where one of them is at least able to go with me as my bodyguard <laughs> like anybody's gonna take this <laughs> but um no just for safety precautions so if you're an agent out there always always uh, put safety first before anything else and today is Seahawks oh you can put it on bed oh, it's okay it's so fine. Seahawks um, so hubby is depending on the area because he does have one of his uh, buddies living uh, within the surrounding area uh, depending on uh, how comfortable I feel <laughs> um, but it is by appointments only so I told him I feel Use very comfortable when it's that to merge onto state route 525 okay thank you thank you but um I should be okay so that he can go uh, watch the football with his friend continue but straight on I'll uh, vlog with you guys later on I'm gonna add also the vlog that we did yesterday when it was chaos Costco avoid Costco on the weekends now is the best time to go to Costco because of uh, football. Miles. Oh, you guys did not need to see that when I had to move the phone. But we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, friends, I totally forgot to, to vlog while I'm here because I'm like busy working. I'm like on work mode. So when I'm on, on work mode, I, I forget. <laughs> I forget to have fun sometimes. So anyways, I am at my open house. Let me just show you a little bit of it. Super cute condo over in Seattle, right by University of Washington, Seattle, right by U Village. If um, if you're ever into the Seattle area, U Village is like the go-to shopping area. It's got so much fun stuff. Um, it's just my, one of my favorites um, to go to. But let me show you the condo. I'm gonna go outside. So, so excited. I got put on shoes because I always respect people's homes and take off my shoes. First of all, here is the condo building. Okay, and this condo building has um, tennis court, saunas, pools, um, hot tubs, and here is a two-bedroom unit. And then when I do my open house, I always have so cute, right? Look at that. This is an old um, sewing machine table, but I always have like my flyers. This one has QR code. Friends, real estate these days is not like when I used to do it back in 2006. It's got a QR code. All we got to do is scan that with your phone and then it'll take you right into my website. I always um, give out goodies. Seahawks, Sunday, there's a game and then here's a schedule, business cards. But look at this. Okay, so here's the condo. Look at that. Okay. And then there's my sign. I take off my shoes. I go in, uh, okay, very spa um, spacious. This is like approximately 15, uh, 1554 square feet. I love the way that they decorated, um, perfect for open houses, perfect for, um, for selling, um, no clutter. That's the one thing you gotta do is make sure you get rid of clutter because you're not, um, minimize the personal stuff. Like, as you guys notice, they have paintings or pictures, but it's not personal, okay? Get rid of clutters. Um, that's my mess there. <laughs> that's my purse, and those are all my mess. But look at that. Nice TV. This is the amazing part. Okay, look at this lighting door, okay? When we were looking for a condo in Hawaii... This is the sliding door that I really like at that one condo. It was almost, it, it was, this was actually half the size of it. So it opens up really nice and wide. See, opens up. Here is a little balcony. And the balcony too is like carpeted. Okay. There's the tennis court. Quiet, quiet, secluded area. And check this out. Okay. <gasps> There's the bedroom. It also opens up here. Friends, how cool is that? Okay, there. All right, so hubby is with his uh, friend uh, watching football. He, 
they live like not even five minutes away from here um he doesn't usually leave me or miss mary doesn't usually leave me but <clears throat> but this is a pretty safe and um quiet neighborhood it's uh gated <laughs> i told hubby i need to downsize like i i need to downsize and the the home that we have is just too much for us the yard is too big there's just too much stuff that we need to do and danielle is already in a junior um in college um i don't see she can always move back in as far as like i always feel like there's a bump in my there you go she can always move back in uh once she graduates so that she can save money uh and look for the job if she's um uh, within the the area of the home we don't have a problem with that like we don't have a problem with jonathan staying at home going to college because we'd ra rather have them focus on school um then you know rent we we want them to really focus on school so we don't put the pressure so much as far as moving out but we do tell them it's not forever because otherwise if you make it too comfortable your kids will not move out i do i do always say too that they have to help out they still have chores even though they're 20 and 22 they have chores they have responsibilities because they live in my home um, and then we have discussed the fact that, you know, like, especially Jonathan is going for his master's. Um, we don't mind you still staying at the house. But once you have your career job, you will have to pay rent. Because, again, do not make it too comfortable. Okay. And what Hubby and I were discussing is that the rent, if they do decide to stay with us, the rent that they pay us is going to be 25 maybe about 25 less than the market value of what it would cost for them to move out. Um, maybe 50, we don't know, but we, we don't want to make it too easy, right? And then 50% of what they will be giving us as rent is we will be putting into a savings for them so that later on when they're ready to purchase a home, they can use that um, amount of money that they've given us, 50%, because nothing in life is free. 50% uh, to go towards like a down payment for their home, only as a down payment for their home, not for a car, not for something materialistic. So we're going to put that money aside of what they would pay us later on for rent. I don't know if that made sense when I'm explaining it out loud. <laughs> Aloha, friends. Good morning. We are on a Tuesday, so I'm not vlogging every day, but I'll... I'll blog, I'll blog, I'll vlog throughout the week and then uh, kind of combine them. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was my mojo day. So I didn't really do too much yesterday. Um, it's like an early morning meeting of what you accomplished for the, the last week. Um, so I was pretty busy last week, which I told them I had... Um, I had mojo every Monday and then I Tuesday I walked the neighborhood which I'm doing right now with Miss Mary but we are going to meet at Safeway to grab ourselves a breakfast burrito because she said she's hungry and we don't we don't mess with Miss Mary when it concerns coffee and food but she she walks with me because I don't like to walk by myself I might I might get adult nap never know it's a pretty good neighborhood where we're going um, it's one of my uh, neighborhood that I farm, meaning I send flyers, marketing to. Pretty good neighborhood, but <clears throat> I always like to go with somebody. As a witness that I've been adult nap. <laughs> like, nobody wants me, but still. Um, Tuesday. Oh, that's what I did Tuesday. And then I had a marketing meeting uh, on the phone. A Zoom meeting for my magazine. Oh, that's right, I'm gonna have my own magazine. <laughs> no, yeah, well, it's true, I'm gonna have my own magazine, but it's a real estate magazine for um, for marketing to send out to those flyers. Um, Wednesday, I did a class at the office. Uh, we call it forms class. It, um, it keeps you updated on the contracts, uh, the new, the new laws, regulations, all those goody stuff that uh, so you don't get sued for. Okay, I do those weekly. We don't have to, but I like to be present <laughs> because I don't want to be sued. I think I sorry, but um, th 
Thursday. What did I do Thursday? I forgot what I did. Oh yeah, Thursday was a Zoom meeting from 10 to 12. Or was it 10 to 1? I think it was 10 to 1. It was a pretty long one for condos, resales of condos and easements and stuff with a title company. But that was nice because it was it was just at home. And then Friday, I filmed with you guys when I told you that I had um, floor duty. Saturday, I went to the office and I filmed that with you guys where the thing scared the crap out of me, the Halloween decoration. And then Sunday, I had my open house. Yesterday was Monday and I had Mojo. See, I, I'm so busy, friends. This is why I've been neglecting this channel because it's just every day I... I take Danica to school or now she takes the bus um and then go back inside and then put my walking clothes on or get ready for the day no makeup nothing I put on my shirt so that um people don't think that I'm like a because I collect food around uh around the neighborhood that I farm uh for the kids in need at uh, local uh, school district um because on Fridays they have those um they assembled it throughout the week and then they on friday they hand them out to the kids in need for the weekend so that the kids have food uh to eat during the weekend when they're not at school when school offers those free meals i'm gonna go inside starbucks and safeway and i'll see you guys in a bit all right i got that one with my rewards points oh, oh yeah I have all the studded ones, which I don't need any more cups. <gasps> I really don't need any more cups. But friends, once you start a collection, it's hard to stop. Oh, you need this one. That one? Yeah. The Washington. Yeah, I don't even have that one either. Because we live here, so we feel like we don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Aloha, friends. Good morning. Uh, 9.05, uh, what's today? Wednesday morning. Uh, Danica actually takes the bus now in the morning, so I don't need to, um, to drop her off at school physically like I used to. She has, uh, one of her best buds, um, in a bus route that sits next to her, so she enjoys the bus. Um... So I have a little extra time of getting ready in the morning, but today uh, I'm running just on time, not early. So I can't stop at a, at a Starbucks to <laughs> get my cold brew, but that's okay. I am on my way to a Chamber of Commerce uh, weekly meeting. I. Myself and another agent uh, representing our office. And um, see how that goes. Uh, it's always nice to network. I totally forgot that I had a uh, networking meeting yesterday. I believe it was Zoom yesterday. So always busy, friends. I, I'm always busy. I'm having balance so much uh so much but it's okay i like being busy especially in the morning like um like this like on the go i feel like i'm more productive in the morning um afternoon though i do need a nap um like 30 minutes an hour before if i have the time i cherish it uh before i start working the other job <laughs> So I take like a little 30 minute, 45 minute power nap. Just get, uh, get myself recharged. And today I'm gonna stop at the, after that meeting, um, I'm going to go into my office um, to do some uh, marketing. Um, marketing mailers that I want um, are our marketing guy to uh, to hand out or not hand out but to mail out um, and then I'm meeting with them um, like I told you guys I'm I'm doing a magazine that has my picture at the front um, of the cover and then my logo and then it tells about the um, like homes um, 
market recipes, decor, how to keep up your, you know, maintenance and, and very informative. Real estate informative uh, magazine, life magazine, lifestyle magazine too. So I have a meeting with him tomorrow at 1115. Then tomorrow I'm meeting up with my, one of my YouTube besties. <laughs> you guys are all my besties, but I met her through YouTube met her through here this is why you know I miss doing this is because I I have met so many amazing um, you know friends I have more YouTube friends than I do <laughs> as far as like um, communication you know I communicate with you guys so much more than <laughs> so bad. which is why when I stop filming um, I, I said I miss you guys because I felt like I neglected my my friends. It's really true. I feel like you guys are really you know part of my life. <laughs> um, you know, there's um, some of you that message me, comment me on on my videos, but there's also some of you that message me, um, email, um, Facebook, and say, Hey Diane, what's going on? I'm worried about you. Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you so much for those messages, friends. I, I really do cherish those. And then, um, like my um, Miss Yari, uh, tomorrow I reached out to her because I have not seen her in a while. Uh, she used to live East Coast, then she moved to Italy, and then she moved here. So, um, really, uh, really excited to have breakfast with her. And then I'm gonna go get my nails done because my nails need to get done. And my girl Cece is only um, at the salon Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So three days out of the week. And I want to be able to see her before, um, before the weekend. <laughs> so anywho, that's all. Um, pretty easy going today. Um, a lot of office stuff that I need to do because a lot of it is like social media, online, um, emails, uh, callbacks. That's all I'm doing today. So taking it easy. All right, friends, I'll see you guys in a bit. Aloha, friends. Good morning. Um, it's the end of the week. So I still have Sunday vlog, Monday vlog to upload today. I have another floor duty, but it's... 8 55 in the morning on a Friday and I am on my way to um, Mill Creek Country Club for breakfast um, so meeting up with uh, other agents for breakfast I have a office meeting there <clears throat> and then I'm going straight to our town center Ooh office and I'll be there uh, till about 2 or 2 30. I am stuck in traffic right now because it's still school hours and then plus the ferry so you guys know how much I hate the ferry but uh yeah I have a pretty busy morning ahead and hubby is hubby and Jonathan are picking up Danielle from college bringing her back for the weekend because and I'm saying this now because our plans has done change hubby and I were just gonna go for like two days to Hawaii um, to visit my um, my mother-in-law it's her birthday today happy birthday Grammy we love you and but um, uh, thing plans change so we won't be able to go we wanted to go also because um we're wanting to look for uh, condos over in the Waikiki um, beach area um it's really hard because <laughs> I cannot afford the HOA or the maintenance fee it's like between this one the one that we're looking at 450 and then the other one was 600 HOA or maintenance fee every month um, you can't like really, you can't run away from it uh, with condos in Hawaii. Um, as far as like high HOA, that one is doable. Um, but when it comes to 800 and 1,000 or 1,100, we cannot. I cannot. I told hubby I cannot. 
I don't have a vehicle, which makes me feel more confident to be able to, um, you know, pay that high HOA. Um, because I don't really need a vehicle because hubby works from home. He goes to the office once or twice, uh, once a week sometimes or once every two weeks. Um, I, I run around in the morning while he's working. So I don't need the car when he gets off work. We're like ships passing by, friends. Hubby and I are ships passing by. Um, we have to for the, um, the schedule that works for us with like the kids. Um, kids schedule, kids activities. He handles that after, after work. And then I handle second job. <laughs> but anywho, it's, I can't believe it's mid-October. It's still hot. We have not had rain. We've had one day of rain in the month of October. So it has been the most driest October in Seattle area since 19, is it 1987 or 1982? Like really, really dry. And it's starting to get a little chilly in the morning when you wake up. But usually by this time, I am not paying for water, <laughs> water bill to water my yard. Um, it's usually mother nature, but everything is just dry now. Plants are dry. I'm going to be driving, friends, and then I will see you in a bit. Friends, it is so hot in the office, but um, I'm here. Breakfast was nice, amazing. Um, we had it over at the country club today because it's the it's the broker it's the managing broker's five-year anniversary since they bought the company from the other uh the other owners so really fun really nice and now i'm at my mill creek town center office if you guys want to stop by see me but by the time i upload this i will not be here but you know you guys if you're in the area want to want to meet up talk about real estate or talk about life you guys can always reach out to me um i am going to film a video of my um how i've been liking my apple cider uh vinegar pills so um i used to do the every like i tried it every morning for two weeks and it's just it's too much for me to do a little shot glass of straight straight up apple cider vinegar along with like hot water and lemon that really did work good too but i just could not like um swallow the the apple cider vinegar you can totally do that but um i wanted to give you you guys like how it's been working out for me i've been doing this for about maybe three weeks now and so i'm gonna make a video very short video about that and then danielle is coming home tonight hubby Hubby and um, Jonathan are gonna go uh, pick her up, and then 3:30 I have to go to my other, my other work, my other full-time work. Friends, I hustle. And then before I came in here, after our office meeting, I did show a property uh, to a buyer, a buyer client, really quick. It was just within the area, so I scheduled it in between uh, the office meeting and then coming here. So that worked out really good. Uh, it was just a quick 15 minute um, driving to see the property in the inside. So they seem to really like it. Um, the property is just right by the, the golf course and um, perfect for two kids that they have close to the schools, great community, great shopping um, area. So hopefully that works out. Wish me luck. Always, always hustling.